And for the other three candidates, it's another day of appealing to voters their key campaign strategies. Visiting the Second Fleet Command here in Pyeongtaek, some 70 kilometers down south of the capital, is conservative candidate Hong Junpyo, again trumpeting his strong Korea drive. He paid a tribute to those sacrificed from the first and second battles of Yampyeong and vowed to improve benefits offered to those that have served the country. I will set the principles for the veterans right, so that it is fair for all. And through the genuine standard of veterans, I will strengthen the national security and make Korea strong. Yoo Sung Min of the Splinter Patent Party rallied for support from the nation's southwest Cholladu provinces, a traditional liberal stronghold. He said old politics based on regionalism should be eradicated and that voters should now be able to vote for someone who will best run the country. Yu, like Boon and An, also unveiled his policy pledge regarding peoples with disabilities that if elected president, he will set up a presidential committee just for them. Progressive Justice Party's Shim sang jung continued her endeavors to win over the hearts of the working class. Visiting a local machinery firm in Gyeongsangdo province, Shim lunched with those workers there, listened to their needs, pledging to make the country a better place for the working class. It's only been a week into the official campaigning period, but out on the roads, on the trail, it's hotter than ever. This race to the nation's top office. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.